Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Medieval 2 Total War mod called Warhammer. You must have the Kingdoms expansion, or just the Teutonic expansion, and you must have patch 1.5 installed. Okay, once you've done that, go to wherever you have your Call of Warhammer downloads and installs. One other thing, go to Control Panel, User Accounts, go to Change User Account Control Settings, or UAC, and turn it off. You'll have to restart your computer to get it to do that. Turn off your antivirus. Unless you have a VAST, a VAST won't block it because it's a good antivirus. If you have AVG or a VAST, it won't block it, so you don't need to turn it off for that. Then you go to your 1.4 patch and make sure you right click it, go to properties, compatibility, and run it as an administrator. Then double click on it. Pick English or Russian. Next. Accept. Make sure. Okay, now this... This is where people get mixed up. Where you install. See, this is wrong. Medieval Kingdoms, there is no such folder. So we go and... Get rid of this. We go to our folder. Sega, click on it. We go to our mods folder. Then, once you get there, make a, click on the make a new folder button. And then make sure it's called this. See, I already have mine installed, so. We'll just call it called Warhammer 2. Make sure it's called. Make sure it's called this or it will not work it has to be called this with the under spaces so let's do this again we go to local disk we go to program files go to I'm gonna find my folder Sega Evil 2 mods Click make new folder. Now it won't have a 2 there, it just does that because I already have the game installed. So we'll just install that. Make sure that there's not a 2. Make sure when you hit make new folder, it just says what it says right here. But we're just going to install it to that right now. Then once you've uh, finished, click finish. See, then it'll have your little thing on your desktop. <clears throat> then we go to our 1.44 patch. Do the same thing. English. Then you direct it to your folder. See, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to pop it back into the kingdom folder. You want to go to our Sega folder. Medieval 2. Mods. Call for Hammer. But yours would be this, not this. I just want to make that clear. Then, you install it in there. Alright, now that we're finished with that, we can go ahead and put our um, English in. But for English, if you have if you have the music patch, put install the music patch first. I'm not going to do the music patch because I don't really care about it. There is a tutorial on it. See, I have install music. But uh, we're going to go ahead and skip that and just go to the English translation here. Alright. Go to... You, where your extracted folder, use um, whatever extractor you have. I have um, WinRAR. You can get 7-zip or WinRAR, either one, and then you just hit extract and hit OK. You're going to need the software. Search WinRAR or 7-zip to get that software. Then once it's done, 
you'll go into your translation now see data text then you go to your call warhammer folder sega evil 2 mods then you go to your folder data then you go you drag this folder see we're in the data folder click that and just drag this into the folder hit yes and when it asks you to move and replace click do this for the next 63 conflicts then move and replace it'll replace them now you have English menus and stuff then we're, unless you're Russian then don't do that <laughs> then we're gonna go to world yes do this. Yes. Do this for all conflicts. Move and replace. Now you have English. Now for this, this quotes lookup, just put this into the folder. I'm going to do this again. Call Warhammer data. Just move it into the folder. Hit move and replace. And now you have English. Delete this. Delete this folder. You totally want to get rid of that. Then you want to get rid of search D E S. Then under space water. Delete. Then delete all these. Death or water interaction. Death or water effects. Delete both those. Then go back to your folder. Get rid of them forever. Then you are ready to play this awesome, awesome mod. You just go and um, click your Warhammer or do this. One other thing I want to show you before you do anything. Click and drag this into this folder that way it's always there if you want to make a copy in your desk book right click it copy paste it's always good to have a backup in your main folder of that just make sure you move that in there and then you know you can put it in your start menu and stuff and that's all I hope you guys have fun and keep playing this game I'll 